Hey everyone, so welcome back and we're still on determinants right now and so now what we're going to do for determinants then is we're going to do this very common test problem where they give you this matrix of unknowns essentially and they tell you what the determinant of that matrix is and then they give you another matrix which is just s the same unknowns but with different operations on them and you want to find the determinant of that matrix as well. So given here then is a book problem. Don't remember which one. It'll be in the source in the YouTube description or whatever. So what we have here then is here's a determinant of a matrix, right? A, which is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And you know that the determinant of A is negative 6. So now we want to find the determinant of B, which is this matrix over here, 2A, 2D, 2G, etc. And how do we find the determinant of this matrix? Well, you have to keep in mind that elementary row operations, right, change the determinant of a matrix, okay? And so, how are we going to do this? Well, let's then begin by writing A down. There's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, okay? And so now we want to perform row operations so that we can get from this matrix, matrix A, to matrix B, okay? However, as the colored lines indicate, and we're going to erase them real quick, we might run into a little bit of a problem here. And what's the problem? Well, you see here that the first row of A has A, B, C in it, but the first row of B has 2A, 2D, and 2G, as in there's an A term, but this is not a B term, and this is not a C term right so what so just by the looks of this immediately it's almost impossible to get from a to b by using elementary row operations right because okay the a can get to this a but you can't how do you get from b to d by doing elementary row operations there's no b to subtract here or here right and there's no d to add here or here so this is where the first thing we have to do and we have to realize this immediately, is that here we can take this matrix A, B, C, D, E, F, and we can take its transpose, right? So take its transpose, and we get A, B, C, going down into the column now, D, E, F, G, H, I. And so what's the determinant of this guy? Well, the determinant of any matrix M is equal to the determinant of that matrix transpose, okay? And so that's something that you need to know and be able to recognize. And so now we can do rover operations on this guy right here. And what should I do? Well, here it looks like I have B minus C, E minus F, H minus I. So that's just row two minus row three, okay? So row two minus row three, and I'll get B minus C, E minus F, H minus I, C, F, I, A, D, G, okay? But what does that do to the matrix? Well, uh, or the determinant of this matrix? Well, remember, the row operation where you add or subtract the multiple of one row from another, that doesn't change the determinant of the matrix, okay? So the determinant of this guy so far is still, the determinant of this guy is still equal to negative six, all right? It's still equal to the determinant of A. Uh, what's the next step then? Well, you see you have the C minus A, F minus D, I minus G. So we're going to have to then subtract the first row from the third row. And so I'll get then A, D, G, B minus C, E minus F, H minus I. And we get C minus A, F minus D, I minus G. Okay. And this determinant then is still 6 because... Remember, the determinant doesn't, uh, negative six, sorry, because the determinant doesn't change when you add or subtract rows from each other. And then finally, what do I need to do? Well, I need to multiply the top row by two. And so now I get 2A, 2D, 2G, B minus C, E minus F, H minus I, C minus A, F minus D, I minus G. And the determinant of this guy then becomes negative 12, which is our answer, 
because I multiply the top row by 2, and so when you multiply the top row by a scalar, then the determinant of that matrix changes by uh, the multiple of that scalar as well. Okay, And so notice that then the one row operation that we didn't use because it was unneeded was swapping two rows. And remember, what happens when we switch two rows, right? when we permute two rows of a matrix, then the determinant changes by a factor of negative 1, so you just flip the sign on the determinant. But since we didn't ever switch two rows here, our determinant is going to have the same sign as it did up top here, it's negative 6, and so our determinant here is negative 12. Okay, And so that's how you do these types of problems. You just need to figure out what row operations essentially you need to get from A to B, and then the determinant comes then from 